A whirling of Jalal al-Din al-Rumi is a concept that Jalal al-Din al-Rumi ex expressing his love to Allah and Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And uh, I explained this many times. It has its roots in Islamic tradition, but it has its roots also in scientific uh, knowledge, secular knowledge. Everything I'm going to be say be very some uh, short, because this is a long discussion. Everything on earth and this universe moves. There is nothing still. The earth moves around its axis. The moon moves around the sun, uh, around the earth. The earth and the moon move around the sun. The sun, the solar system, in its galaxy, moves in the universe. So physicists must know that. They know there is quantum physics. So every constellation has a movement. Every constellation, every star in a, a certain galaxy with all other galaxies are moving in vacuum. So e everything is in movement. Atoms are in movement. You cannot see the atom moving, but there, are tech there is technology. They can see the electron moving around the mass of the atom. So movement is an expression of love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So anyone loves his Lord is moving. In your prayers you are moving. Because you love Allah, you are moving. So everything in this universe is moving in Allah's love. And the uh, example of that Islamic example in the Holy Quran. وَأَمِّنْ شَيْءٍ إِلَّا يُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِهِ وَلَكِنْ لَا تَفْقَهُونَ تَسْبِيحًا Verily, everything is praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but you cannot hear it, you cannot understand it. They have their own languages. Means everything, means every atom, every atom of any mineral, is praising Allah because we are in min shay'in. Shay is the smallest thing you can imagine. Is make is praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if everything is praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because showing love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, longing to the divine, Jalal al-Din al-Rumi is longing to the divine. He found that way that he is whirling in that speed he was generating energy that was raising him up from the gravity of this world we have to keep our mind open not limited to do not do not be closed mind do not be closed minded you make your mind so huge islam is not a, 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 a religion only to itself. It can encompass the whole universe. You have to be more open-minded. So, Jalal al-Din al-Rumi is expressing his longing to the divine by whirling. Aeroplane cannot fly without two turbines or one turbine that generate force and accelerate the plane to move and fly up. So everything that world generate an energy, that energy can lift anything up. So he wants his soul to be lifted up. He is generating that quick movement and he was rising up because his soul was pulling him to to heaven because he was longing to the divine his body was pushing down to earth because the gravity of the body is pulling to the gravity of the earth there is a struggle between the good and the evil body
takes us always to bad desires. Soul always pulling us to heavenly desires. So Jalal al-Din Rumi with this concept, with this warning, he was giving the soul a power to overcome the power of the body. And that's why the, his body was down and he was able to rise, to rise up. So it's, it's everyone has his own way of thinking, of his own way of showing his love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like that Bedouin who came to Prophet sallallahu wa sallam standing at the door and Prophet is doing the Jum'ah and he said, Ya Rasulullah, mata sa'a. When is the day of judgment? He didn't answer Prophet. Next time, he, another time he asked. Prophet didn't answer. Third time he asked, Jibreel came and said, Ya Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam, Allah telling you to answer him. Look, a Bedouin, a Bedouin is asking a question Allah ordering his seals of messenger who went for Isra and Mi'raj to answer, show humbleness to answer that Bedouin. He said, what you are preparing for that long travel? What he said? Mahabbatak ya Rasulullah, your love ya Muhammad. And that's why Prophet said, yuhsharu mar'u ma'man ahab. People will be resurrected with whom they love. So the concept of love is what uh, Jalal al-Din Rumi uh, uh, was his concept of loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep whirling, focusing. When you work too much, you'll be focusing on yourself. And when you focus on yourself, you know your limit. As Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man arifa hawdahu wa kafa inda, who knows himself, knows, who knows his limit, stand by his limit. So that is the concept of Jalal din Rumi, and that's the concept of whirling, like the electrons whirl around the mass, like people whirl around Kaaba. You are whirling when you go to Hajj, you are whirling around the Kaaba, means you are showing your love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this circular way. Shukran,